Section 10.7, homeowners insurance premiums. Um, objective is to calculate that annual homeowners insurance premium. How do you know how much insurance costs? That's what we're going to find out. Here are two things. Where do you suppose these two things are going to be? Short answer on the test. If you've been doing horribly on those short answer, you might think about writing some things down. So what two things affect your insurance premium? Your location, um, how close are you to a water source um, for fires and that purpose, um, and the type of home you have. Is it made out of brick? Is it made out of wood, masonry, or veneer? So those are the two things that affect it. And this is only for homeowners insurance because um, they want to get to your home as quick as they possibly can if you have a fire. And secondly, um, which of these do you think are, are less likely to burn? Brick, wood, masonry, or veneer? Brick. Probably brick. So the safest home you can actually live in that won't burn quite as fast is brick. Um, wood would be the least probably. Um, so let's look at those um, premiums right now. Um, every home is assigned a number that reflects how fire resistant your home is. Um, we as homeowners don't generally know what that is. That's really for them. They come around, they take a look at your house and they know what it's made out of. They assign that to you and they just say, here's how much your premium is. And you have no idea what goes into that. So it's how fire resistant it is. And then again, how close you are to a water source. Um, and this is called your fire protection class. So there's a table on page 393, um, and it gives a variety of numbers. There isn't one in the back. It's just this one. Um, there's the amount of coverage, and of course, there's a variety of coverages on the home. They just chose these. Um, then there's two sections. One is brick and masonry, um, brick and masonry veneer, and the other is wood. So if you are in the first category, your home is probably more fire resistant than it is if it's in wood. So let's look at the categories. You have fire protection class one through six, seven and eight, nine, 10, 11, and then same with wood. So let's just look at an $80,000 home. It's actually not the total price of the home. It's what it's insured for. Um, if you are in fire protection class one through six and you have a brick home, it costs $301 a year. If you are in um, the same class, only wood frame, it's $321. So it's about a $20, $20 difference when these charts were made. Okay, so every class will go up in price. A $500,000 home in fire protection class 11 is $2,593 a year. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, when you look at the other, it would be $2,761. So it really depends on what it's made out of and what class you are in. So let's take a look at the Skies home. Um, it is a $150,000 home. It's insured for 80% of that. So that's what you need to find first is how much coverage do they have on it. So you multiply to get that. So $150,000 times 80% and it is going to be covered for $120,000. If you actually get a number that is not on the list, you've probably done that first step wrong. Okay, so we're gonna look at 120,000, not 150,000. And then we're looking at wood and fire protection class four. So you go down to 120,000 on the left, you follow it over to the wood section and look for fire protection class four. What number are you looking at? 476. 476. Done. Okay, probably about the easiest assignment you've ever done <laughs> is today, and it's not very long. So that's all you do. How much is it insured for? And then get the number off the table. That's it. So we are done. That's it. Easiest assignment you've probably ever done. Tinder card.